Amber here with Benchmark with our new Mavic 3 Enterprise drone from DJI. We're going to do a little unboxing video, go through all of the um, parts and the aircraft. This is the unit that is replacing the Phantom 4 series. The real nice thing about this one is it can be upgraded to RTK. So unlike the Phantom series going from just a Phantom and having to buy a whole new unit, all you have to do is buy an RTK module to upgrade this to get your survey grade accuracy. This is going to be the first Mavic that has a mechanical shutter and it is currently the only Mavic that has a mechanical shutter, which is another reason why it is great for surveying and mapping. So we're just gonna get started here and open the box. Not hurt myself. In the box, we have this nice hard um, Pelican case type box for the Mavic 3 Enterprise. All units come like this, um, and you will need to purchase the um, RTK module and battery kit separately. So in the box here, turn it around so you can see it. We're just gonna open everything up. So um, opening the box here, we have um, our first thing is the smart controller. Um, it will be using DJI Pilot 2 as well. Um, you can see we have batteries. One battery comes with the unit. Um, to get extra batteries, you will need that battery kit, which comes with three batteries and a charging hub. Um, in here, we do have the RTK module that is a separate purchase as well as the speaker um, that is more popular um, with the thermal payload for the search and rescue folks. We have the charging hub for the batteries as well as all of the cabling. All right, so the Mavic 3 Enterprise, it folds up very nicely just like um, the rest of the Mavics. So right here, we're just going to unfold all of the arms. And again, this one kicks back. And then the battery goes in the back just like the M30 series and the rest of the Mavic batteries. Press it once just to see our battery life. And then we will just press it in there until it clicks. We're gonna go ahead and put on the RTK module. So again, super simple. Uh, we're just going to take off this little nodule at the top and then we'll just line everything up and you'll see it clicks into place and then we'll just tighten down these screws here. All right, you can see that the Mavic 3 does have several obstacle avoidance sensors all over it again. Um, we're just going to pop this gimbal cover off. There we go, so everything is free float. Um, for RTK, we can get it connected to Network RTK. You'll just need your in-trip login um, like before, or it will also connect to the DRTK2 mobile station, which is the same um, base station that was equipped with the Phantom 4 RTK or the Matrice 300 RTK. So same base station, so if you decide to upgrade from a Phantom 4 RTK, um, you will not have to upgrade base stations. All right, so grabbing the controller, um, it does not have an external battery like the Matrice 300. This is the RC Pro. Um, we can unfold our antennas out here. And then again, we'll just press the power button to turn everything on. Getting that turned on and connected to the unit. So we'll let that power up and then we'll, we'll quickly turn on the unit. So you can see we are using Pilot 2, so if you um, have been using the Matrice 300 series, you'll see this interface is very familiar. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just turn on our drone here. Once it gets connected, it'll show up on the screen here. Um, over here, you would see your flight routes. That's where we're gonna plan our mission. This is how it differ, differs from the other um, Mavic 3s. Um, the other Mavic 3s, you will not be able to do um, mission planning and it is a different app. All right, so we just linked the aircraft to the remote control. So now we see we have a green light up here on the top of the remote controller um, and it shows that we have our DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise connected. So from there, we will enter our camera view. Um, you can see this is going to tell me um, a, essentially a pre-flight checklist and to make sure um, the aircraft is fully unfolded. Check out of that. 
And then now we can see our live camera view. From that, we'll move the camera up and say hi to Matt. He is our videographer. Um, but you can also see in this scroll wheel here, um, if an obstacle goes close to it, just like it was with the Matrice, um, where that obstacle is. So you can program those um, distances for alerts and braking as well. To plan an autonomous mission, so we would go into our flight route. You can upload a um, KMZ, KM, KML um, from Google Earth. So essentially you would go to Google Earth Pro, um, create your boundary, import that in. It does have, how does it import in? Nobody knows. It will be done through, um, you see there is a micro SD in the remote controller. So you can just upload the flight mission to there, upload in the mission um, with through a KMZ. Create a flight route. Again, this is pretty standard for DJI Pilot 2. Do our mapping mission, and then we're gonna navigate to our, our site here. Once everything is planned, we'll go outside, we'll get connected to, um, today we'll use the um, DJI DRTK2 base, and then get to flying. Thanks for checking out our unboxing of the Mavic 3 Enterprise. We hope to see you soon at one of our UAV workshops, or uh, feel free to contact us and schedule a demo, um, and we look forward to working with you.